Sultek. Hmm. Fascinating. Is he trying to talk to me? Another fever dream, perhaps. Hmm. Or is it for simplicity's sake? I will choose to believe that. If it will excuse me, I have important work to do. Yes, thanks, and uh, goodbye. Hello again. Persistent. Hmm. I actually admire that quality a great deal. It is underrated, in my opinion. Well, fever dream or no, if the Paxel Tech is going to be hanging around, I suppose I should tell it my name. I am Rothinder Ahimot. Hello. Oh, it is struggling. Poor thing. The Paxoltec dream creature may do as it pleases. Walt has more important things to consider. A pleasant jet. Surprisingly so. Indeed. Thanks and goodbye. It cannot be helped, can it? The curiosity! It is killing the Paxoltec as surely as it is killing me! Knowledge is the only cure. This mural here, on the cave wall, can it comprehend me? A trick question, of course. I have dedicated my life to learning, so that I may find the answers I seek and put the pieces together. After years and years of searching this jungle, I have finally found proof of what I knew all along. Of what it asks. <laughs> proof of all that matters in the whole world. Proof that the lost tribe of the Pan does exist. See, I have found the location of their civilization. It is no less than miraculous. Ah, I have gotten ahead of myself, have I not? I do apologize. My manners are not what they once were. I have been alone a long while now. Very long. Why? <clears throat> what uh, brings the parcel tech here? How can Walt uh, be of service? If it is looking to spend, I have a few valuable items I may be willing to part ways with. Funding for my research must be procured by whatever means necessary. It is as good a time as any to stock up. It returns. What can Walt do for it? A curious mind will lead to the greatest treasures. 
Ah, I thought it would never ask. This ancient mural is a gift from the lost tribe of the Pan. My long sought after proof of their existence. They were real, and they landed here, far removed from Genus and her thin fruit. Imagine the freedom, the adventure, the fear, yes, but also the exhilaration. They were not unlike myself. Adventures to the core. If only I had descended from one of their lot instead. Ah, but no time for pointless musings. From this mural, paired with my own independent studies, we can deduce that their ships were separated from the rest. They were assumed killed by the ocean's fury. But in truth, they arrived here and etched out a living as best they could under Thalos's mighty leadership. King Thelos was the son of Kolket and the Lost Tribe's leader. When they landed ashore, he led them into the underground tunnels and helped redefine their way of living to survive. It is a nasty jungle, as the Paxotec has no doubt noticed. But tragedy struck the tribe, as it does. My ancestors fell ill, beginning with brave Thalos, afflicted by the same disease that destroyed the ancient Pan society and forced them to abandon their homeland. I do not know what happened next. Not yet, but I will know soon enough. Mark my words, Paxutek. This is history in the making. Now would be an appropriate time for the Paxotec to make a purchase in support of Walt's research. Right. Goodbye, then. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is a bucket.
that always ridiculed me. Who is laughing now? Ha! Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it is nice to see a familiar face around these parts. Even if it is a strange and hornless one. Hmm? It has arrived at an opportune time. See, I have found another mural. This one is more than I could have ever dreamed of. This discovery is downright exhilarating. The implications, the possibilities, it's overwhelming in the best of ways. <clears throat> Excuse me, I <laughs> have a tendency to get carried away. Is my Paxotec friend in need of something? There must be something the Paxel Tech is in need of. for intrusion. You wish to steal from me, like all the other wicked beasts. But beasts will take anything from Lydusa, not anymore. For what's most precious to me has already been taken. The wicked beasts, the hooved ones, they stole Lydusa's precious thing. Without it, I can't tell my singing stones to cease their song of wrath. Stones belong to Lydusa. Once they sang only sweetly. It was my magic that first sung them to life. A song to make them twirl and dance like wind caught sand. But the wicked beasts twisted my sweet song to screams. I screamed and screamed. Now, poor Lydusa has lost something precious. The beasts. I stole it and locked it away. I can't sing without him. You, hopeless beast, will find my precious thing and return it to me. Do you feel the stone flesh within, turning your inside cold and still? That is my curse, the touch of Lydusa. And I won't lift it until you bring me what I seek. to me, and it was sundered, stolen. Without it, I am shadow split. I am not me. I am not Lydusa. When you find it, beast, you will know that it's mine, that it is precious. Now go, before you become petrified and useless. Few mortals deign to ask. The only demand. This wistful, empty hollow was the throne room of, of King Thanos. But I didn't visit him here. No, not once. 
I couldn't stand the mollycoddles of the mortals. Yet I sense him here still. His life's imprint, drifting in the dust memory of this hollow. So I stay. My Thalos, son of Colquette and king of the Hooft. He arrived at this land lost and blighted, and one day stumbled upon my sleepy grotto. He sung me the sad song of his people, fractured from their herd. Such a poor and pitiful beastie he was. Sweethearted Lydusa cured him of his plague blight in exchange for a year and a day. A year and a day spent with me. Is it? I've taken naps quite longer. How fleeting mortals are. Thanos and I spent each day together. I taught him the song of the stones. And we sang and danced atop the cliff tops. From dawn till dusk. Our bond peaked higher than the mounts, more and deeper than the depths. A bond no other beast could ever understand. Oh, how I did not wish him to go. But he was a hoof king, and his people were his heart's grotto. He returned to them, and as a final gift, I taught him the cure touch for his people's blight. He built me a temple within his golden city, and he would visit me again and again, for I would not allow his life song to fade. But then, he was taken from sweet Lydusa. Taken. Stolen. Taken by the wicked beasts. Terrible wicked beasts. I will speak of them no more. Then why are you still here? Find Lydusa's precious thing, lest your flesh turn to stone. I found another piece of the story, and I am another step closer to the truth. It is tragic. Bloody. A betrayal, some might say. But they would be wrong. That is just the way of things. Trust me. I know all too well. Anyway, does the Puxel Tech need something? I have new items on offer. Yes, please have a look. Until next time, my friend. What can Walt do? My life is an unending slew of questions. Speak, friend. Priesthood was formed in service to the goddess, and she taught them alone to wield the power of the living stones. The simple things only, from what I can gather. Heating pots on command, lulling young ones to sleep and things of the like. But there was so much more potential. This divine power was right at their fingertips, but she selfishly kept it to herself. It must have been maddening. Yes, I'm certain it was. They made a plan to trap her. One day a year, she took mortal form and required Thalos to lie with her. 
Our noble king was dubbed the bloodless king because he never sired a child. It was because of her. He was under her spell. She was less powerful in her mortal form. So when that night came around, they used their own ancient magics and captured her. Thelos was enraged and fought back, killing his own kind. Yeah, they had no choice but to capture him as well. Thelos was driven mad by the goddess. He would not listen to reason. So they imprisoned him and took control of the kingdom. Knowing the goddess was fond of her royal pet, they bartered his life in exchange for the secrets of her power. They got what they wanted, what they needed to safeguard their society. Using her power, they were able to create living constructs to do their bidding. And so, the pen went from living like savages to an era of swift advancement. Imagine having such power in the palm of one's hand. Power like that could change the fate of our people, even those deemed unworthy of the fame fruit. It is tragic. But that is the way of history, of the world. One must rise from tragedy, stronger than before. The secret of this power must still be around here somewhere. I can feel it. Trust me, my friend. This day will live on in the annals of history forever and ever. If it is in need of assistance, Look no further than Walt. I will not give up. Here they come.